Uh, I'm brief, briefly going to discuss something called the signal. And uh, you can often think of signal as being something that's received in the radio. You know, think of that, or uh, if you're transmitting data, the signal that's carrying data. But for us, a signal is just a function of time x of t. And we want to look at some types of signals, some classes of signals. So, uh, for example, we can think of discrete signals. And discrete signals are those where t is an integer. So, uh, this is the uh, what we saw earlier, for example, where the function looks something like this. You have certain values and these are the values of the function that's taken at each time step. So, uh, okay, my drawing is not so great. It's something like that. Okay, uh, the alternative is a continuous signal. And a continuous signal where t is, is, is a real. And so here is the uh, continuous value, continuous signal, which goes something like this. So we have a value for every point on the line. We have a value of this function defined, whereas here we only have it defined for discrete time steps. Uh, a second kind of way we can uh, distinguish it is sort of looking at the y-axis. So we can think of the y-axis as being uh, either analog or digital. So in the digital signal, uh, the y-axis or x of t is takes on only values that are integers, typically actually uh, 0, 1. So this would be a typical uh, digital signal, you know, so 1, 0, 1, 1, something like that, 0, 0, and so on. So that's just a sequence of bits, and that's a digital signal, whereas an analog signal is going to be something which has a value that could be anywhere. So uh, here's an analog plus continuous. So analog and continuous would be something like this, whereas the analog and, uh, uh, and discrete would be, you know, it's taking on these values, but uh, the, the, it's defined at every point in time, but these points over here could be arbitrary. They don't need to be integers. This one is on the real line. So depending on whether the uh, x or the y axis is the integer or the real, uh, we have discrete or continuous, and here digital and analog. Okay, so that's just to get the basics going. Uh, some signals are periodic. And so a periodic signal is something like this, like a sine wave. So that's a signal that goes like this. And it goes on and on. That would be a periodic signal because essentially this from here to here repeats over and over again. So this is the fundamental period uh, and uh, F and the fundamental period repeats over and over again. Signal repeats over and over again for that fundamental period. Um, the smallest such period which repeats is the fundamental period. Of course, a segment such as this also repeats, but that's not fundamental. So that would be uh, derived from the fundamental period. And then finally, we can think of uh, what are called time-limited or time-unlimited signals. So if this sine wave only starts at let's say time zero, it, it ends at time, I don't know, 2.5 uh, with some arbitrary units, then it's time limited. It only lasts until here. Whereas if it lasts forever, it would be called time unlimited. So we have time limited and time unlimited as the two different types of signals that we can have. And finally, we can have uh, what are called time shifted and time scales. So if x of t is your signal, then x of t minus a is time shifted by a units. Time shifted by a. We already saw this. It's, uh, it's time shifted by a to the right. And if you take x of t and we multiply it by a x t, then this is time scale by a. where we kind of, uh, I'm sorry, this is, I made a mistake over here, it's not ax of t, it's uh, x of at, sorry, 
So this is time scaled by A. Uh, a x of t is just scaling, that's not time scaling. Here we are compressing or expanding by the factor A over here. So uh, pretty much all the signals we see in daily life, uh, let's say you do the ping command on your, on your desktop, which just sends a sense of uh, a ping, say ping, I don't know, cnn.com. Then you're going to get back a series of values, which tells you the delay signal, how far it is. So you can see something like 300 ms, maybe, and 250 ms, 150 ms. And let's say these are three values to get back. Then this can be viewed as being a discrete. It's not continuous because we're only getting it for three over here. It's analog because we don't have a, the Y axis is not discretized. It's aperiodic and it's time limited. So that gives you an example of the kind of signals you're thinking about going in the future, uh, when you're studying the future. And uh, later on, in the next module, I'm going to look at a particularly uh, interesting uh, signal.